Have you noticed all the empty office space and storefronts? Concerns are mounting about the nation's massive commercial real estate market. Rising interest rates are conspiring with higher commercial real estate vacancy rates to put the $20 trillion commercial real estate market at risk. Economic uncertainty means you have to keep up with what's happening. Make sure you subscribe and we'll keep you in the know. You might wonder, how far could this problem go? Rich Hill is head of real estate strategy at Cohen and Steers, a global investment manager specializing in real estate assets. According to Hill, the value of commercial property could fall as much as 25% this year, and the decline in office property specifically may exceed 30%. Risks to the office property market are especially prominent. The average occupancy rate of offices nationwide is less than half of what it was just before the global health emergency. In fact, office vacancies in the first quarter were even higher than the peak vacancy rate reached during the financial crisis. And pay close attention to this point. This epidemic of office vacancies has unfolded while the national unemployment rate is near its lowest point in the last 50 years. As vacancy trends continue to gain traction, another dagger, rising interest rates, is pushing into the heart of the commercial real estate market. And now fault lines are beginning to appear in the financial institutions. Wells Fargo reported a 50% increase in non-performing commercial real estate loans in just the first quarter. A drastic downturn in commercial real estate poses risks for the world's most important banks and it could be worse for regional banks. That's because loans against commercial real estate make up 40% of the total lending done at smaller banks, compared to about 13% at the largest banks. Cornell University economics professor Ishwar Prasad thinks weakness in the commercial real estate market has the potential to cause instability in the financial system. Prasad recently said, Although this is not yet a systemic problem for the banking sector, there are legitimate concerns about contagion. A fragile commercial property market is not just a worry in the near term. The lifestyle changes that are keeping commercial property spaces empty have occurred at the foundational levels of society. Because of that, Analysts see no basis for thinking that the trend away from commercial property space will change, maybe ever. Dan Zwern, chief executive of global asset manager Arena Investors, puts it like this. People thought of these office buildings as forever. Because of course it's going to be 98% leased forever. They were not planning on this secular change. It's not just office space that's vulnerable to the effect of the internet and other technologies. Real estate space is also at risk. Analysts at UBS Group recently estimated that roughly 50,000 retail stores will close within the next five years. This could also have long-term implications for the economy. Here's a look at what some analysts are saying. Recently, the Wall Street Journal suggested the possibility going forward that commercial real estate won't contribute as much to the country's economic growth. Depressed building values could hurt cities, which depend on property tax revenue, and weigh on bank balance sheets, leading to less lending throughout the economy. Dan Zwerm of Arena Investors makes it clear. You literally have trillions of dollars of investment that are suddenly just massively impaired. 
retirement savers should consider the impact of all of this on their IRAs and 401ks. What will happen if we see another shock to the financial system caused by commercial real estate woes? As I said at the start, we're all noticing the empty office space and storefronts. The world is changing. Some of the changes will be good, and some will have a negative economic impact. Are you prepared? Consider the impact it will have on you. That's why I suggest you take the time to learn more about what's really going on in the economy by attending our exclusive one-on-one -on -one web conference at AugustaPreciousMetals.com slash webconference.